to sit down and listen to me and, and, and to analyze me and started me on that medication. And I start, gradually I started to get better and better. I was determined that I wanted to be someone. I don't want to always have to depend on people uh, talking to me, counseling me, even my friend, family and friends. I'm looking for always somebody to talk to, to give me information to make me better. And then in 2004, uh, that was it, because I, I still take my medication, but I didn't want to be you know, mentally ill anymore, because I, I, it's so misunderstood, but I wanted myself to be I'm mentally ill and, and to strive to do better and be a productive citizen, a taxpayer citizen. I want to work and that I know if I get a, a job that I like now, when I get that job and, and it's for me and I will last out on that job, I will have longevity because I know I can do it now. In 2004, I started to get better. My mind started to regulate and my, my personality changed. And, but I still was angry. I was so angry. And it came out in 2004, because everybody, you know, everywhere I went, you know, everybody would not speak to me. Uh, they would lies all over me, made a bad reputation for me. And I worked that out, that uh, I love people. I'm not a hateful person. I'm not mean. I love people. And I began to have self-worth in me, not just you know, uh, self-esteem, you know, that. No, I have, I'm worth, I have self-worth and integrity. And I worked and worked so hard to get myself, and in, in, in not statistically, or that stimulant about being mentally ill, no. And I started to work toward my mental health to get better, and it got so much better, I started to get involved with organizations and everything. And in 2001, I was you know, looking for, to get a job and I was with uh, uh, United Way and everything to learn a trade, a career. And I ended up going to uh, Disability Link in 2001. And there I met Ashley, Bernard, and David. Those are three that I mainly saw there. And I, at that time, I was so, you know, anxious. I wanted to get moving. I was, you know, saying it's taking too long for me to get where I want to go. And so I didn't come back for several years. And I went back, came back in February of 2006. And I met Michelle Althaus. And David was still there. Bernard was around. And uh, Ashley. But I met so many people in Disability Link. And I knew that this was my calling, that, you know, when the Department of Rehabilitation didn't want to help me in 2006 when I went to them for work and they told me to get into a, a day program. You know, I was uh, 40, 40, I'm in my late 40s and I wasn't a child anymore. I wanted something to be able to uh, build my character and for me to be productive. And so I stayed stuck with uh, Disability Link. Uh, Michelle Art, how she invited me to Disability Day in February, and that's where I knew my niche. That was my niche, right there in that Disability Day, that I have been disabled all my life, most of my life mentally, and then my physical health was coming down on me and everything, but I'm still a fighter. I don't give up easily, and I'm in the place where, where I know it's my calling, and they have helped me so much in that, that uh, organization. And in that organization, I, I started coming to ADAPT meetings. Then I joined uh, People First of Atlanta. And uh, it was just the people, you, you guys just don't know how you build me up and, and make me have self-worth even more and integrity. Lord God knows, Lord Jesus knows, I am so grateful to you, Cherie. I'm so grateful to Bernard. Uh, Linda, to Margot, all of you guys, I can't remember your name because I'm kind of, you know, stuck right now, but everybody in Disability Link, that they just really rallied around me and, and, and made me feel so good about myself. And I love you guys. I love everybody in Disability Link. 
I love the Decatur Cooperative Ministries for volunteering there, and Chris Lewis at the Recreation Center. And you involve me in so many things, and I do. I have a lot to give. I have a lot to give, and I know that I want to be where I am, and I don't want to go anywhere else. This is where I am. This is where I am. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so, go. Yes, um, not, when I joined uh, Learn to Adapt, and they uh, was planning an action in Washington, D.C., and I knew that I wanted to be a part of that. And so when we went to Washington, D.C., and I had never been to anything like this before. So many people from all over the, con from the country there. And it, Disability Link, people first of Atlanta, people first of Georgia, Atlanta Adapt, to, um, Georgia Voices They Count, and all those people, all of your movers and shakers. You know, you work so hard at what you do, but you have fun. You know, you're enthusiastic about what you're doing, and it's just a, a happy team of people. And I really enjoyed that, and getting out to work for so many people in all the country like that. And it was very, very inspirational. It was very educational to me, and I really, really learned a lot. And I'm hoping to be able to go to more of the, the uh, actions and the traveling that all over the country that you do so that I can say that Barbara Jo Mars, she cares, and this is where she belongs. Well, if you would, just for a second, because we've only got about three okay. minutes left, talk about why it's important for people to live in the communities and why people should be allowed to live in the communities. Okay. People should, uh, I feel that people in the institutions and in nursing homes, you know, they want to live independent lives. They want to be out of those places where they are kind of stuck there. And when I notice about the personal care homes cropping up and, uh, the, you know, for that, and I would know that, you know, people, they want to be free. They want to get out into the community and to be citizens, you know, productive citizens. And they are so relieved and happy. I was, I was actually able to see people in these personal care homes and in group homes, and they were doing so much better. And being in the community where so you're striving and to better yourself and to make sure other people's people are like you, that you'll be free. You have freedom, and that's what I ask for all these people in all these organizations, mostly do live, freedom. Do you live in a personal care home? No, I live in a high-rise for uh, the, the senior citizens and, and other people with disabilities and, uh, and all ages in this high-rise. And um, so I know that I've, I've lived there 12 years, and that's why I know my life is meant to be because I have always had to move around, you know, maybe the longest I stay in the place for maybe four or five years. But I, where I live now, I've been there 12 years and it's going. July will be 12 years. Fabulous. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Guys. Thank you, guys.